closer to the weekend. We're also getting closer to some rain, Stefano. It is going to make a comeback. Now, that's good news if people have done some planting, and this first wave of rain really shouldn't cause any major problems for us. It should just be some typical springtime showers. There's not even really a thunderstorm threat with this first wave of rain, but there's a second one coming early next week, and that's where I think we could get a couple of decent thunderstorms from. But we do stay dry today. We could see a couple of showers sneak in as early as tonight, but more widespread as we go through the day tomorrow, especially late in the day and into the overnight. Here's the good news. We are going to dry things out just in time for the weekend. I think a lingering shower early Saturday morning, but we'll dry out the remainder of the day and continuing into Sunday as well. Monday will stay dry. Monday night into Tuesday is when that next frontal system comes in and that will fire off more showers and thunderstorms as we mentioned. But today does get to stay dry. We're starting off with plenty of clearing and we are starting chilly once again in the 40s. A couple of spots will drop to the 30s as we head into the afternoon. We'll sit right around the mid 60s, give or take a couple of degrees. The cloud cover should start to thicken up as the day goes along, but it's not going to go immediately cloudy. It should be a gradual process as we go through the day. What to wear as you're stepping outside jacket this morning. We can go short sleeves under that. Hang on to the sunglasses, especially for that morning commute. Might not necessarily need them this evening as the clouds build back in, but it's better to have them and the umbrella can stay at home at least for one more day. Here's a snapshot of those temperatures over about the next hour. 30s and into the lower 40s. We get more cloud cover to mix in throughout the day, but it's not going to be very thick immediately as we settle into the afternoon. Afternoon. Temperatures will settle everywhere from the lower, mid, and into the upper 60s. I know a couple of us got near 70 yesterday. That might be a little bit more of a tough task to do through today. Here's those clouds thickening up overnight tonight and into tomorrow morning. As that happens, do not be surprised to wake up to a shower as we head through the morning hours tomorrow. A passing shower through the remainder of the day, but late in the afternoon and into the evening, that's when another round of rain really surges into the mid-state. This will be our more widespread round of scattered rain showers, so if you have any plans on Friday evening or into the early parts of the night, that rain could be a little steady in some spots, not all that much in the way of heavier downpours, maybe a brief one or two. A couple of showers should stick around into early Saturday morning, but then by the afternoon, things should almost completely begin to dry back out. A little cooler on Saturday. It will also be breezy following that rain. We'll sit around 60, but a lot of us, I think, will stay in the 50s and we'll gradually work on getting some sunshine. Sunday looks like a much better day. More all day sun after a chilly start and some frost in the morning. The afternoon will work our way back into the upper 60s. The breeze picks up again on Monday leading up to that next storm system, bringing us showers and thunderstorms Tuesday. As of now, there is no severe weather threat, but I do think that's a day that we're going to want to watch closely.